Hello, everybody. I'm so excited to start our 13th annual Give Back Check presentation. If you can hear me, can you honk your horns? Fantastic. Welcome, everybody, to our 13th annual Give Back program. We're very excited this year because there's a few things that we've done different and a few things that we've done the same. The neat thing is with our 13th year, we have our three top winners that will be matched by Toyota, but then that allowed us to take the rest of the winners and divide them into three groups of 13. So that's how we're gonna do this this year. It takes a little bit to get through the drive through so I'm gonna announce our first group. What you'll do is when you hear your name, please drive into our service drive and we will present our checks to you. So for our first group, for the 13, um, I'm sorry, for our 13th group, you will each receive $250 for participating in our Give Back program. Can the NWPA NTMA Education Foundation, Oil Region Ballet Company, Folds of Honor, Hospice of Crawford County, Meadville Community Soup Kitchen, Yellow Line Initiative, Community Health Services Medical Transportation, Center for Family Services, Child Development Centers, Sippy Historic Machine Shop, Bethesda Lutheran Services, Conneaut Eagles Foundation, and Junior Achievement of Western Pennsylvania. If you can please start driving through the drive through like these people are doing, we're going to present you a check for $250. Thank you so much for participating in this year's Give Back. While they're driving through, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the Give Back program. As we said, it is our 13th year. When we started figuring out different things with the 13th year, we started figuring out how much money with tonight we'll be able to give away. And we're very proud to say after tonight, with participation from Toyota, the Give Back program has given $340,000 back to this community. The reason why we're so proud of that is because of the customers who have supported us that allows us to give money in these denominations. And we can't thank you enough. My sweater says thankful, and that's what we truly are. Because you have supported the small dealership of Palmero Toyota, we can help support these charities that have done so much great work for us. And we truly appreciate all that you do for us. So, like I said, we broke it up into three groups. Our first group is getting $250. Our next middle 13 will be getting $750. So we will be announcing those soon once our drive-through gets cleared from our first thing of winners. Congratulations. Our middle 13, as we're referring to you all right now, will receive $750. And when I call your name, you can start pulling up behind the car that's in front of you. Wildlife in Need, French Creek Valley Conservancy, the Margaret Schantz Memorial Library, Crawford County K-12 Career Education Alliance, Linesville United Methodist Church, Meadville Neighborhood Center, Cambridge Springs Heritage Society, Foundation for Sustainable Forests, Hog Heaven Rescue Farm, Linesville Community Public Library, Meadville Community Theater, Keystone Blind Association, and the Sagertown High School Alumni Association. Congratulations to our middle 13. We have checks for you for $750. There's a lot of things that happen with Palmero Toyota and our Give Back program that make us who we are today. And we've had questions, what made you think to start this? How did you start it? It started with an idea 13 years ago that we'd ask charities to apply and the top winner would get $2,500. And at that time, we were really excited about the program and we were happy to see that some people were able to participate. And our first winner was actually the um, Humane Society. So we had a lot of fun, it was really small, we figured out what we were doing, and then it turned into this. It's very important for everybody to understand that for Palmero Toyota, we know where we came from. And we came from this community. The one thing that's very special tonight is we're here to announce that there is a new award. The reason why there is a new award is because my mother, Linda Palmero, 
really thought it was important to honor my father, Joe Palmero, who most of you know passed away last year. My father believed in giving back to the community and supporting the people here, and there were a lot of things that he enjoyed around the Christmas holiday. And my father always taught me to give back to the community that supports you, and there were certain things that he believed in. With the give back program, our plan is to always give money, but also give more knowledge on what these charities do. Give more knowledge to more people so that they can help more of the charities do what they do best, and that's their mission. So we asked everybody, as you know, to write what you would do with $2,500. My mother, when she saw this, has always been a supporter of our Give Back program, and she decided that in addition to whatever happened today for these two charities, she wanted to give an additional $2,500 to two charities as the Founders Award for the first time in honor of my father, Joe Palmero. So two charities tonight will also be receiving the Founders Award and that is coming up soon. So a lot more money than we had originally thought and we're very pleased to say with that money from Toyota and from my mother, tonight we're giving away over $52,000 to these charities. So thank you for the support. And if anybody else wants to give money to charities, we are here to help you. Just let us know and maybe you can participate next year on our 14th. The next group is our top 13. Our top 13 does not have our top, top winners, but it, like I said, it was the third group that we were able to do. And we really felt that these top 13 should receive $1,500. So our next group are $1,500 winners being in our top 13. Can we please have the Men of Grace Allegheny Region, Geneva Faith United Methodist Church Operation Christmas Child, PA Stitches of Valor, Active Aging Foundation, Conneaut Lake Historical Society, French Creek Valley Railroad Historical Society, Conneaut Lake Volunteer Fire Department, Neeson Hill Elementary PTO, Meadville YMCA, and Tamarack Wildlife Center. You guys are 12 of our top 13. Our final one in the top 13 goes to St. James Haven. But with St. James Haven, we also put an additional $400 for the Extra Mile Award. One member of their voting committee biked 400 miles to vote for his charity. He came in every day, he voted, and he put 400 miles on his bike. So we wanted to give St. James Haven an extra $400 with the $1,500. So St. James, you're getting $1,900, and because your gentleman went the extra mile to get you there. So we're very excited about that award as well. So that's our top 13. And then there were five. And so once we get through, we're going to talk about our top five. I think one of the things when you go back and look, and sorry, like I, I, I get all caught up in seeing faces, and then I realize that I'm supposed to be talking. We want to thank these charities for everything they do, especially right now. You keep hearing how hard things are, how hard it is to even find workers, much less volunteers. And look at all these people who came and supported and voted and did all those things. There is nothing better than our community and how they will support each other and what they will do. And the work that these charities do are phenomenal. What we're asking each one of you to do this year is please take a video of something that you did with the money and please send us a picture so we can feature you on our Facebook page and our YouTube channels. We are going to have a YouTube channel also to tell more about what you guys do as charities. I think it's very important that we give money at Christmas, but I think it's also very important for people to understand that you guys are working 365 days a year. So we want to keep you both relevant and knowledgeable in the community for all that you did and 42 charities that is absolutely amazing the next two charities were in the top 13 so they will be getting $1,500 from Palmero Toyota but you also are the first two charities ever to be honored in my father's memory with the Joe Palmero Foundation Award 
when we read the bios and we looked, these two charities embraced what my father believed in and what my mother believed in. And so we cannot be more grateful to the following two charities for being in the Meadville community and to represent my father for the first time. We'd like to ask the WINS Project and Meadville Free Clinic to please come through the drive through and then eventually I will see you after because I do have the check from the Palmero family to thank you for all that you do. So thank you to the WINS Project and Meadville Area Free Clinic. Um, please come through the drive through And then there were three. So if you're sitting in your car and you have not heard your name yet, you've probably figured out that you are a $2,500 winner and you are being matched by Toyota Corporate. So you will be receiving $5,000 for your charity this year for all that you did. The first charity we're going to announce is our employee voted winner, and that is French Creek Recreational Trails. Thank you so much for all that you do, and the employees of Palmero Toyota really appreciate what you do do. So please come through and get your check for the employee voted winner. These next two charities battled it out. The one charity won by two votes, and that tells you what a battle is. And when Brian and I looked, we said, well, heck, award it to both. So congratulations to the Academy Theater and the Meadville Lions Club for having the most community votes, votes in our community and being the top winner of the 13th annual Palmero Toyota Give Back Program. We have $2,500 for you and then $2,500 from Toyota Corporate. Thank you both for all you do. Thank you for the Facebook posts, the costumes, the energy. When you guys came in, you came in in groups. A lot of times when people came in in groups, we assumed you were here to vote. On Saturday, people actually came in to buy a car and we didn't know what to do with ourselves. We thought they were here to vote and they're like, can we look at cars? We said, oh yeah, go ahead and look at cars. We thought you were just here to vote. So it made it so much fun to have you all here and do everything that you can. We want to thank you for supporting us and our give back program. The 14th year, we already have some fun stuff planned. So we're really looking forward to being able to do all the things that we're going to do with that. We are asking that our top charities come in and get their picture in front of the tree and we have some plaques for you. And I think with this, I'm going to turn it back over to Joe, I believe, with ending my portion of the give back program. But I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. And you're right there. Right behind you. <laughs> all right. Well, again, thanks so much, uh, Allison. Uh, uh, I know we're still probably streaming on uh, the, the stream that's up right now, too, and here in Kona 1.7. So anyhow, what, what, what a fun evening, huh? It's a fantastic evening. It's one that we've been looking forward to, and especially knowing that we had that extra award um, just really makes it just yeah. a very special day and, and so happy that the weather cooperated with us. So I think my dad was looking down on us and making sure that everybody could get here and, and be safe and be able to spend this money for the charities that I'm they need to. pretty sure he was. And we thank him right now for the, uh, just a good evening that makes it just easy for everybody to roll in. So, so everybody's going to come in, get a group shot, and uh, then we kind of go on, and then the, the money goes to where it needs to go. Then we'll, we appreciate it very much. Absolutely. Thank you so much. All right. We'll talk to you in a little bit here. And uh, I'm going to go on.